What's up guys? Today I'm out here at the park. It's early in the morning. I figured out uh get some fresh air. Talk to y'all for a little bit. About a couple of things that have been happening in the news. Um first thing I'm gonna talk about is as you well know. <clears throat> Celsius, which is a cryptocurrency company, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Now, I uploaded a video a couple of uh, days ago about my thoughts on cryptocurrency. And um, it's not looking good for uh, some of these companies, man. You know, it's not looking good for crypto as a whole. I mean, if you got Bitcoin or Ethereum or something more established or big like that, it might be okay for now. But a lot of stuff of what I said in my other video, and you know, you can check it out on my uh, page. It seemed like it's happening. Um, for all y'all that don't know, a chapter 11 bankruptcy is uh, a bankruptcy that basically a company files when they can't pay their debts, including you as an investor. And what's bad about it is, well, let me, let me rephrase. It's still hope that if somebody files a chapter 11 bankruptcy that you get paid money your money back but what it is is they basically freeze and hold the assets a company has from its investors and it also gets delisted on the security exchange commission the sec which basically means they can't sell no crypto they cannot sell their products they're not even listed up there to be bought or sold and another thing is they can't uh Somebody's walking by me. Let me Another thing is they can't uh, pay you right away. And that's crazy. So basically what happens in the Chapter 11 bankruptcy with the big company is they uh, pay off all of the more important people or the big accounts first to try to consolidate their debt. So, if you are an investor, you usually get paid last, or not at all. A lot of times, not at all. And that's what's worrisome about the situation with this whole thing with Celsius cryptocurrency. You know, I feel, I feel, how can I say this? It's an uneasy feeling when you're losing money. Or you're trusting somebody with your money and things don't go right and you have no way or any power to try to come to a resolution to get your money back because your money's tied up in loopholes because the company didn't manage their money correctly. Now, the people that have invested their money in the Celsius crypto, of course they're worried. But uh, looking a little deeper into it, they, when I say they, I'm talking about the company Celsius put out, and I can't quote this verbatim, that they're just trying to resolve, you know, Re rework the company and they're trying to assure everybody everything will be okay which is a good thing on their part because I don't think they it's a scam or anything like money grab or anything like that but um there's another cryptocurrency three something I can't remember the name of it they said that they filed bankruptcy and then the owners went missing man look that's crazy. 
You know, that was like a documentary I've seen, don't know how true it is, about somebody, I think, in Canada. It was on Netflix, where the dude just disappeared with all these millions of dollars in crypto. And then, all of a sudden, they say, oh, he, that, he died in India. I was like, what? Yeah, like, I mean, there's no regulation with that. And you can get got. It's just, you know, I feel sorry for the people that are involved. Or the people that have lost money in this. And it could have been anybody. You know, because anybody could have invested in Celsius. But the thing about cryptocurrencies that, that you know, makes it really, really edgy with me is it's just on speculation and the stock can go up and down i mean somebody could get in the news and say something crazy you know it could be a rumor and the stock could just shoot up which is you know normal for a lot of times with stock but it can start a craze and everybody that's not an expert in it turns into an expert and you'll see them promoting it like oh man this is the next big thing or this is this is gonna make you rich or this. Come on, come on. I mean, we hear that every day. But uh, if y'all got crypto, if if if, if some of y'all got Celsius, I'm gonna pray for you. Hopefully, this thing will get resolved. And in defense of the company, man, you know, I don't think that they're trying to escape with the money. So, if I was an investor in Celsius myself, I would just wait and see. But I mean, I would be upset because <clears throat> they froze the assets like a month before this announcement. So, that right there would have triggered me to be like, oh my God, you know, what do I gotta do to get out of this thing? But all in all, in closing, I just want to say, man, this, this is like a stain. It seems like a stain on crypto. Is this still worth the investment? Would you put your money in it? You know? I mean, drop a comment, man. Let me know. Let me know uh, how you feel about the whole crypto situation. Or just the Celsius situation by itself. Would you still invest in... Uh, cryptocurrency do you still have money to the side you know um i like to hear from you as usual i'm steve thanks for stopping by the channel appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button and uh subscribe to the channel and we'll get back with you thanks for joining me